Good morning and welcome to Take Your Life Back Today show with me, Ralph Friedrichs. Today I want to talk about uh, cocaine and, uh, and heroin, but now really I want to concentrate on heroin. Uh, the uh, uh, facts that are out there are tremendous and I only have 21 facts that I really want to discuss with you folks today. But for, uh, first and foremost, Larry Geis is an addiction recovery coach. He's a life coach. You can reach him at 516-485-2741. That's 516-485-2741. Larry Geis from the uh, odysseyconsultant.org, www.odysseyconsultant.org. Give him a call, and when you speak to him, you tell him you heard about him on the Take Your Life Back Today show with me, Ralph Friedrichs. Larry Geis will walk with you from your addiction to your recovery. He does exactly what I do. The only difference is, is he has... 30 more years experience than I do. He's a veteran in the field. He is a great person. You might have even seen him on uh, a Name to Know interview on the same day that I was being interviewed on that show. Uh, he is excellent uh, for uh, your recovery. He is excellent for your life's issues, but you need to get in touch with him at 516-485-2741. That's Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. GlobalEyeGlasses.com. They are focused on saving you money, folks. If you need glasses, if you need a metal frame, a plastic frame, a full frame, a half a frame, a no frame, go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Get in touch with me. I have over 30 years experience in the optometry field. You can text me at 631-599-0218. Folks, if you need progressives, they have them. If you need line bifocals, whether they're flat on top or round on top, they have them. If you need your lenses to be a little thinner because you have a prescription that's pretty thick, they have them. If you want your lenses to change when you go outside to either gray or brown, when you come in they go clear, they have them. If you need to have invisible bifocals, they have them. If you want polarized lenses for you fishermen and for your skiers and uh, outdoorsmen, they have them. If you want tinted lenses, UV lenses, anti-reflecting coated lenses, they have them. Take the first step. Go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. And when you do get in touch with me for your eyeglasses, ask me for that special little code so I can give you free shipping. Globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. Welcome to Take Your Life Back Today Show, one of the most informative shows on YouTube about drug and alcohol addiction. After you've heard the 21 facts that I gave you, take action and volunteer in your community to fight this epidemic. Number one is heroin is a highly addictive drug that is processed through morphine, which is naturally occurring substance extracted from the seed of pod, uh, the Asian opium poppy plan, plant. Number two, heroin can be injected, snorted, sniffed, or smoked. It is highly addictive and enters the brain very, very quickly. Contrary to popular opinion, all three methods can lead to addiction and other severe health problems. Fact number three, there is no cookie cutter heroin user. In fact, many heroin newest addicts are there in their teens and their early twenties. Many also come from middle or upper middle class suburban families within possibly your own neighborhood. Fact number four, tolerance to heroin develops with regular use. In fact, many heroines, uh, excuse me, with regular use. So after a short time, more heroin is needed to produce the same level of intensity. The result is addiction. Addiction results possibly in death. Fact number five, health risks to heroin include fatal overdose, high risk of infection such as HIV and AIDS, collapsed veins, infection of the heart lining and valves, liver disease. When an addict stops using, he experiences physical withdrawal which uh, can begin with just a few hours since the last usage. Symptoms include restlessness, insomnia, diarrhea, vomiting, cold flashes with goosebumps, muscle and bone pain. Fact number six, folks. Major withdrawal symptoms peak between 
48 hours and 72 hours after the last dose and can last for up to a complete whole week. For some withdrawal can be as long as a few months after stopping the drug. Sudden withdrawal by heavily dependent users can be fatal. These are 21 facts of using heroin. We're only up to fact six, and my mind is boggled by why someone would take heroin. Why would someone choose it? I can only answer this. It's a disease. Fact number seven. Heroin was first manufactured in 1898 by Bayer Pharmaceutical Company of Germany and marketed as a treatment for tuberculosis as well as a remedy for morphine addiction. Fact number eight, heroin craving can persist years after drug use stops and can be triggered by exposure to stress of people or people, places, things associated with drugs. Fact number nine, in heroin's purest form, it is a fine white powder. More toxic, or excuse me, more often than not, it is found to be rose gray, brown, or black. To toxic ingredients are usually mixed with heroin, so they, the true purity of the drug and its strength is usually hard to really know. Fact number 10, folks, approximately 13, listen to this, 13.5 million people in the world take opiates, opium-like substances, including 9.2 million who use heroin. Heroin here on Long Island is such an epidemic, and that's why I'm asking you, after this video, after these 21 facts, to consider volunteering in your neighborhood, in your community, to fight, to battle heroin. Whether you're a parent or an individual caught in the clutches of addiction, there are several things that you need to know about heroin and heroin addiction. The following are 11 more elements of this offer of drug and how it impacts the lives, lives of those who use it. These are more things to know about heroin and heroin addiction. Heroin can cause serious health issues. More than almost any other drug, heroin puts the individual at risk for a number of serious health problems not directly associated with the drug itself. IV users who inject heroin are among the most likely people in the world to be stricken with HIV and AIDS or hepatitis as a result of sharing dirty used meals. Heroin can be ingested several different ways. There are three primary ways that an individual gen generally ingests heroin. Shooting the drug into their veins with a needle, snorting the powder form of heroin, or smoking heroin, often mixed with cocaine. Fact number 12, heroin once was available in a number or different consumer products. In the early part of the 20th century, heroin was actually the active ingredient in a number of different products, including cough suppressants and morphine addiction curatives. 13. The way people use heroin has changed in recent years. As recently as 15 years ago, over three quarters of all heroin users took the drug by injected only. Today, that number has shrunk to 65% as the number of individuals snorting heroin has elevated. Heroin is costly habit. The average heroin addict spends between $150 to $250 per day on his or her habit. And, and ask yourself this, folks. Most people don't even make that in a day. Where's the money coming from? Heroin users convert or go to crime such as stealing from themselves, uh, from their families, or from neighbors, robbing to support their heroin usage. Heroin is being used in our schools. Between 2% and 3% of all high school seniors surveyed state that they will have used heroin at least once by the time they graduate after the 12th grade. Heroin detox, heroin detox is not a rehab. Despite the claims of many facilities, heroin detox treatment is only part of the heroin addiction recovery process. In order to break the cycle of addiction, an individual must address both the physical heroin 
dependence through detox and the psychological component through counseling and aftercare. There are a number of street names for heroin. There are a number of colorful slang terms associated with the heroin, including smack, H, horse, white horse, junk, train, and shiva. Heroin addiction causes heart and liver problems. Two of the most serious long-term effects of heroin addiction are the heart disease and liver failure, resulting in death. Heroin addicts rarely, uh, excuse me, heroin addicts rarely seek treatment on their own. A person addicted to heroin is highly unlikely to admit that he or she has a problem on their own. It usually is up to the family and friends to step in and make sure that the individual gets uh, the heroin addiction treatment help that they so desperately need. If you have a loved one who is suffering from heroin addiction, it is my recommendation that you learn more facts about this disease and take the appropriate action. These are just 21 facts. Folks, I've seen a list of 80 facts. This video would be way too long for me to do that. But listen to the facts one more time. Write them down. Number one is heroin is a highly addictive drug. Number two, heroin can be inject injected, snorted, sniffed, or smoked. Number three, there is no cookie cutter heroin user. In fact, Mary, many heroin newest addicts are in their teens or 20s. Number four, tolerance to heroin develops with regular use. Number five, health risks to using heroin include fatal overdose, high risk of infection such as HIV and AIDS, collapsed veins, infection of the heart, lining and valves, liver disease. All these eventually, when heroin consistently gets used by you or a loved one, can be fatal. Number six, major withdrawal of symptoms peak between 48 to 72 hours. Fact number seven, heroin was first manufactured in 1998 by the Bayer Pharmaceutical Company in Germany. Number eight, heroin craving can persist years after drug use stops. That's why the aftercare is very important. Not when your loved one or yourself just stops today will that go. Next year at the same time you could still have the craving. Number nine, in heroin's purest form, it is a fine white powder. Number ten, approximately 13.5 million people in the world take opiates, opium-like substances, including 9.2 who use heroin. Number eleven, heroin can cause serious health issues. Number 12, heroin can be ingested several different ways. Number 13, heroin was once available in a number of different consumer products. In the early part of the 20th century, heroin was actually the active ingredient in a number of different products, including cough suppressants and morphine addiction curatives. 14. The way people use heroin has changed in recent years. As recently as 15 years ago, over three quarters of all heroin users took the drug by injecting it. Today, that number has shrunk to 65 because snorting has increased. 14. Heroin is a costly habit, $150 to $250 a day. And folks, most people don't make that in a day, so what they do is they steal from the, the families to pour in things. They go rob stores. Uh, it leads to crime, and if they do make it, they can't pay their bills or support their families. Number 15, heroin is being used in our schools between 2% and 3% of uh, students interviewed. 2% and 3% said by the time they graduate in 12th grade, they've had used heroin. 16, heroin detox is not rehab, despite the claims that many facilities Heroin detox treatment is only part of the addiction recovery process. After detoxing, you need to have counseling and aftercare. Seven, uh, this is 18. Heroin, uh, no, there are a number of street names for heroin. They include smack, H, horse, white horse, junk, 
train, and shiver. 19. Heroin addiction causes heart and liver problems, which will, in fact, eventually cause your demise or your loved one's demise. 21. Heroin addicts rarely seek treatment on their own. That is why it's important if you know someone, even yourself, your neighbor, you need to work with them to find the help. And it's not just merely going into a detox center for 30, 60, 90 days and coming out and forgetting about the issue. Counseling and aftercare for years to come is very critical because cravings can creep up to a heroin user even after one year, two years of not uh, snorting or injecting heroin. Those cravings can curl up. That's why the counseling and the aftercare is very important. Even alcoholism, just quitting is not good enough. A person still needs counseling and or aftercare. In my case, these videos daily to you is my aftercare. No, I never had to go to detox. I was able, with the grace of God, to give up my alcohol. I still am an alcoholic, but I've learned to live in recovery. I have learned to live in recovery by communicating to others to prevent others from going through what I went through for, to prevent others from possibly losing everything like I almost did and to prevent others from losing their life like so many have folks it is up to you if you know people that are either cocaine addicts heroin addicts alcoholics or any other drug uh, substance abuser to be there as a crutch as a person thing is there to help. It is not merely something that you only worry about if it's on your own. Help your neighbor, help your family member, anyone that has a substance abuse by being there for them. Direct them to the right way. Show them that you do care. One of the worst things any drug addicted person, and that includes alcoholics, can face in life is people that don't care. Because they already at the point that they don't even care for themselves. That's why it's so important that you become their crutch. Have them realize that the minute they start admitting they have a problem and they reach out to God for guidance and direction, that things in their life will change. All these changes will happen with small steps and part of these steps, the results will be feeling better health-wise getting back the skin color that you that you had prior to your addiction financial benefits spiritual benefits relationship benefits so it's if it's you that I'm speaking to directly that has the problem or a loved one start making the changes today because if you remember a sober today I promise you will be a better tomorrow that's a guarantee and if you start thinking here positive you will reap the positive results. Eliminate the negative negativity in your life. Look at the glasses half full, not half empty. Look at what you do have that's good in your life, not what you don't have in your life. Because I guarantee you, as I sit here, that each and every person out there has more good in their life than bad. And the bad things that you do have in your life, you need to face head on and work one by one out. Changes come in small steps. Folks, remember, teach your children to say no to any drug, including heroin. Say no to alcohol. And the best way to teach your children is by leading by example. If you're going to sit at your kitchen table and drink or do drugs in your house and your children see that or use profanity, your children will think it's okay because you the hero, the role model is doing it. So if you don't want them to do it, start today making that decision to lead by example. You are the leader of your house. You and your spouse, or if you're a single parent, or if you're a single grandparent, or uh, you're, you're just a single person, because there is no father or no mother in your household, lead by example. And the best way to lead and to get all the ed, uh, education about leading your children is to read the Bible. Read the Bible. Go to church. Take your children to church. 
If you absolutely have to drink and do drugs, just do them a huge favor and don't do it in your own home. And if you do have a drug issue and you do have an alcohol issue, reach out to people that can help you. Reach out to me. I have a hotline, 844-405-HELP. Share my videos with your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones. I am here for you. You can text me if you don't want to verbally speak to me at 631-599-0218. Isn't it time for you to take your life back today? And if it is, start doing it. Because tomorrow, my friend, is not guaranteed. So many people go through life thinking that tomorrow is guaranteed. As I sit here with you right now, there are people in this world taking their last breath. There are people in this world closing their eyes for the last time. Folks, did they have a chance for change? But if you're watching, you do make that decision. I was one of those people who never thought I could live without alcohol. It is possible. What it is, is working and learning to live sober. Come up with an action plan. How do I live in recovery and still have a fruitful and happy life? I am here to help you. Text me at 631-599-0218 and let me help you take your life back. Folks, I hope to God that each and every one of you out there has the best day of their life, but I really hope and I daily pray that each and every one of my audience has a sober rest of their life. And may God bless you.